we're officially on strike. I don't know if they're trying to call our bluff, but hopefully everybody can stay unified and fight back for a better price. This is really bad timing, you know. This could have been dealt with uh, a lot sooner, but makes you wonder about the future and what it holds for the fisheries. That's the worst news I could possibly get. I'm worried about Bob. The longer they sit, hopefully the better price they get. You fight too long, pretty soon you're going to lose, and you're going to lose big time. There's no guarantee in fishing. There never has been. And so it's the fishermen that pushes through the ups and downs that's going to win the game at the end. I guess uh, going on strike, so. Nobody's they raised have... anything then? No. Mm. They're still set with two and a half dollars. They're not really budging. I don't think we're asking for too much. Just a matching price. Yeah, it's got to be fair. Um, I have another meeting tomorrow with everybody. So we will see. If it gets too far into it, are we going to be looking at trying to move our bait back off? Yeah, we got to bring it back to the cannery and freeze it. OK. How's the saying go? Smooth seas don't make good sailors. 450 miles southwest on the eastern cod grounds. Where are we at? We're about two miles from the spot that Jake wanted us to start at. OK. Let's give it a try. <laughs> well, you got to start somewhere. It's as good a place as any. Aboard the Northwestern. You know, it's all new to us now. But the method is still the same. You just got to get the fish in the boat. Captain Sig readies to launch his first pots on the gray cod grounds, relying on information from his former protege for a fast start. We're going to fish with 140 pots, and we just got to get them dialed in. I'll give him a shout here. You got me, Jake? Yeah, I got ya. So Mandy got us to the to the spot here. OK, you're on the, the northern end, right? You're running it east to west? No, I haven't done that. I mean, I, I can, if that's what you want. Yeah, that's where it's good. You're going to want to go on the northern end of my stuff. And hit those contours to the west. All right, so it's out to the west. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I think that should that should do it. OK, how far apart? About two tenths. You're going to want to try to stretch them out. Uh, yeah, that's stretching out. That's like fishing crab. I know. It's it's going to pay off, though. All right. I'll, uh, I'll head that way. Get one out and uh... see what shakes, OK? All right, cool. I'll be on this one. OK, keep you posted. He said he checked the whole area out, so why go farther? He's stretching us further and further to the west. Why don't we just flip it around and go the other way? Lay them out to the east. I mean, that's, yeah. Might as well stretch a few out that way. I mean, I'm prospecting, too. Set up when you're ready. Okay, let's get them off. Find some fish, and then we'll get into our own game. I've spent all my time prospecting. I need to know what's on the northern end of my gear, east to west. I already did my part. I've been on the give so long, it's my turn to be on the get. 
327 miles away in an undisclosed location. Get nautical, brother. On the Time Bandit. I ain't easy today. I forget about all this every time when I come out here. I forget about all the bad I just remember nice, calm day, sunny. Like Phil Harris always said, it doesn't matter how much we can wait. We gotta push right through that Clock's ticking, man. We gotta, you know, pull our pots, rain or shine. I'm the only boat fishing golden crab at the area and how lucky am I? You gotta keep your mouth shut. You shouldn't even be telling you guys what's going on. Looking to prove the viability of a potential new fishery, Captain Jonathan is poised to learn if all his cloak and dagger yields dollars and cents. Yesterday was the calm before the storm. Now we're in the crack. For 30 years, I've been wanting to fish here. We don't need much, you know, just a short soak. We're just spot checking. If we see anything, we'll just start dumping back. <laughs> As soon as that tide switches, they'll parachute down so deep, I'll never see my pots again. The tide will switch. It goes up against this wind, it's going to get real evil. These things will stack 20 feet higher with white water breakers on them. You gotta pay attention. You gotta find the next one. Should be like right out 1 at 11 o'clock. Right to that big, big wave up there. Holy Big wave, guys. Big wave. How's the big wave? <laughs> Hello, sailor. How's the big wave? Let's hang out for dear life. Very dangerous. It's a lot more critical, it's a lot more pucker factor. Oh man. A lot more stress. Oh, I was puckering. Definitely puckering on that one. We're getting through this gear. It ain't easy, but we're doing it. 